Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Today we're going to try and speed through getting our oxygen up and running. And probably getting a little bit of this art done around here. How are our vitals doing? Still pretty good. Not sure if I want to put these guys up on higher jobs when they get them or not. It just kind of depends on, you know, what they're looking to do next, I guess. Uh, let's look at priorities. Um, been doing pretty good with them. Um, it is our best artist, our best cook. All of that set up. I do wish that we had a better builder, but we're kind of stuck with the one we have at the moment. Um, it looks like we're almost out of our base water. We're going to have to come in here and tap this. I'm actually kind of curious as to how oxygen's getting in here. Well, that's an interesting question. Um, so both of our oxygen generators are right there. Probably not the best to have those exactly like that. Um, let's see what we want to do. I'm actually going to come dig like this. Yeah, perfect. We're going to uproot that. going to do is we're actually going to build I was thinking a room somewhere maybe we put it down here gonna have to dig a bit more our uh, our germ resistance is already kind of going down we need to get more um, more like scrubbers in here like this is helping but still kind of high concentrations over here. Once we get all this built and blocked off, it shouldn't be an issue anymore, but this is definitely an interesting um, what am I trying to say? It's definitely an interesting update. Um, and they kind of cap to the, like the highest decor you can get per tick, which definitely limits us so we don't want to make everything out of like gold or anything like that. Um, that we might want to consider no, we don't have enough thimble reed just yet. In my test branch, we have a lot more thimble reed um, than this. Oh, that's already in enabled. Uh, now, one thing we might do is somehow make Trivaldo not come out here. Actually, I want to be able to pick up seeds. Oh, we're already picking up seeds. Awesome. So that means we have our our blossom in here somewhere. Um, the question is, where do I want to put my cooling room? So this is going to be the hydrogen coming out, as usual, the oxygen down here. Uh, but at some point, I want to put it through like a cooling area. We're going to put the the wheeze warts in there. I'm just not 100% sure where yet. Now normally I would 
use this room for my suits. But I'm not sure I'm going to do that just yet. Okay. Going to need the liquid pump in here. Insulated liquid pipes. And then we already have power set up there. That's awesome. Now, one thing that I want to do, which I already started, was a ladder up here. Uh, at least look in there for a uh, anti-entropy thermal nullifier. Um, I really don't want to run a healing loop in healing cooling loop into here because uh, you know I, I really want to uh, get some good food out of you know all of this um, so I could conceivably save both the the bristle berries and the thing. Wait, what would it be? So berry sludge is a plus three, while frost buns are a plus two. Oh. Yeah, let's not do frost buns. Well, no, let's let's keep doing frost buns. That's fine, I guess. It's not too bad. It's actually bringing our people up to 16 on a good day. So that's awesome. Definitely excited about that. Now, eventually, as we space things out, I might actually, you know, start jump cutting for this series, just because, you know, yeah, having a goal and working towards it in an episode is good, but I don't know, it just kind of like sometimes drags and we could get a lot farther especially if we didn't have to restart our map over and over again but hopefully with you know this last couple updates we won't have to restart maps too often and then um, eventually hopefully we'll get modding in and uh, play around with that because there's definitely a lot of options that we could take for um, maybe not different overhauls right away but you know cool tools and maybe a rework in certain places I don't know all right so we really need to get them to not come in here for a bit because this is like Trivaldo here is really getting the short end of the stick. We're spending so much time trying to like take the germs out of this, but it's just not going to happen. Like I'm pretty sure, yeah, we just cleaned that and now it has 6,000 again. Can we... Let's turn down this to... What, 5,000? I don't know. Something a, a little bit more reasonable. Wait, turning that down... Gosh. No. Yeah, I want to go. I guess 10,000 is not bad. Unless we just want to turn it off. Just turn it off. Eventually, we will dig it all out. Starvation. Killing me. Got fifty six thousand foods. Do 
do we not have? You should be on forever. Because we definitely don't have enough of this just yet. There's a lot of pinch of pepper nut down here. Eventually we can get into that. That will definitely help. We've definitely got a lot of surface area for all of our stuff. Everything's spread out. We're, um, we're definitely pretty compact, I think, just in like everything's together, everything's kind of organized. And then, you know, maybe if we need another bathroom within the next couple hundred cycles, we'll just drop another one in. No big deal. So, jobs. Liam, congratulations. You are... Farmer? No, 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 no. No, 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 Not quite yet. Uh, architect, yeah. We could use an architect. Um, what are our vitals like? Because the, the 15 is pretty nice. But, um... Perhaps we should wait just a little bit, just to make sure that's going to be stable. Now, one thing that we need to put in, probably right now, medicine? Med bed. And hopefully we're not going to lose too much productivity off of that. things do happen. Um, one thing that I want to do as we get all this set up is actually add a fertilizer maker and take these out. Completely gone. Compost goodbye. Um, mostly because they, uh, <laughs> they are more efficient with the dirt, I think. So we'll be able to, you know, farm for long longer off the same amount of dirt rather than you know blowing it all away and once I finish with this I think I'm just going to add one storage bin at a time just to make sure we're not you know spending too much time cleaning up rather than actually getting the things done that we're trying to accomplish. So we've got our power run, we've got the pipes. Honestly, once we get it all built, we're actually set to go. Um, actually, we would want a little bit more power run down here. Ugh. That's definitely a... Uh, so 25 times 15 is a lot more than we have. So let's go ahead and drop down here. What are we going to do? Add iron? Yeah, I think we're doing iron. Let's do that much. We are running a little low. Perhaps we should actually try and dig for some. Like over here. Gives a little bit more room for carbon dioxide too. Why not? And hopefully that will be enough iron to get the job done. It does look like they're quickly filling all of that up, so. Definitely means it's getting used. Now one thing about the, the water lock here is it's definitely going to give us a little bit of issue with the, the soggy feet, but as long as we figure that into the calculations, we should be good. Um, we should, I think, unblock this, maybe put in another 
liquid lock. Um, come out here, and maybe up through here. Try and get into our uh, our other upgrade room. That will be a good thing to have. Why are you guys running in there just to, to pick up? That's not very great. Can actually, can you really not actually? What is your, what are you doing, Trivaldo? So you research and you dig. Okay, well, we're not researching, so I guess let's do that. Um, let's go ahead and get ranching up. I think that'll be good, especially if we decide to start coal. Uh, that and it'll give us a lot of high quality food, just in a bunch of ways. We'll, we'll work into that as we go. Actually, one thing that I want to set up in priorities is let's turn down research for, oh gosh, um, let's turn it off for these guys. Um, do I want to disable NZ? Sure, I guess. I really hope that doesn't come back to bite me, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Jobs mastered, awesome. Trivaldo. Scientist, groundskeeper. Should be fine. Every little boost helps. Actually, let's look at this again. Oh, uh, we have one cook. Who is that? We have Catalina. Is she actually the one cooking? These are the questions that we have to ask ourselves. Yes, so she is the one cooking. In fact, she's, yeah, she's only cooking, so that's good. Set that to forever. Um, set that to forever too. Since we we do already have a full make of it. Just keep bouncing from one menu to the other. Just making sure we have everything set. How's our temperature doing? Excellent. It's keeping about right. Supercomputer we won't keep around too long after we get our research done. Uh, definitely gets replaced by something a lot more impressive, of course, once we get into space. But that's definitely a while, especially if we're going to be doing it completely legitimately. I always set out to do like a test world where I just like, you know what, I don't really care if this is like a perfect let's play, but like, then I go, well, I want to do this, I want to let them build things, but I don't know. How, it's really only Trivaldo, which I guess, since he's in here, he shouldn't be doing too bad. Let's look at his... Okay, so his negative is actually dropping. So as the, yeah, see it just dropped to 19%, so he's only going down 4% per cycle. So as long as he's researching, he's going to start coming back and it'll spring back really quickly once we, like once it goes positive again. So that's not too bad. Oh, 
I do kind of want to get this water out. It's it was kind of nice for a while, but now I'm over it. Um, can we just bottle emptier? And then just drop it in there? I don't see why not. We're not making anything with it, so... Or other than oxygen, so... I don't see an argument against it, so I'm gonna do it. Our oxygen production uh, is not really getting built too quickly, is it? Um, I mean, we got the pump and the ventilation or the the plumbing built, so that's it's definitely steps in the right direction. And the other thing is we definitely want to split our oxygen into two, one for the oxygen suits and one for the, um, the base itself. Okay, so we got our research done, which means Trivaldo is not going to be in the base for very much longer. Um, research. Um, let's go ahead and get our, our temperature blocks. We're definitely not in any danger zones for anything just yet, I think. I just get scared if we stop making like forward progress in building. As long as we have Trivaldo slowly getting better without actual need for care, we won't lose too much. Definitely all the little things that we're doing is helping out though. Um, can I... not yet. We're also not getting these paintings done, so I'm not sure... What's the deal on that? Definitely are moving pretty quickly through this research, though. It'd be really hard to run a, a cooling loop through here every time I think about it. I kind of come and look again. It's just really not ideal. It wouldn't be good to put it up north either. Like, maybe right here is the best place to do it. Let's take this down like that, I guess. And then we're gonna do one like that. And then we're going to put <coughs> we're going to put wheeze warts in here and then run uh, ventilation. Make sure it gets cooled down. It will lend to uh, keeping this temperate, which may we can tune. Uh, once we get our, uh, whatchamacallit, oh, it's just another hot biome, lame. We can actually tune the temperature we'll be getting the base to once we, uh, once we set up this room, so that'll be awesome. Uh, though we probably want to make it out of something different once we actually get to building it.
All right, let's let them build again. It seems Trivaldo is kind of sort of recovering. Perfect. So sad that building is a secondary objective in this with this uh, group so far. All right. So liquid, we want polluted water. keep adding things for them to build, it just makes it less likely that they're going to do the thing that I want them to. So let's do sub-priority of six here. Everything in here. That's definitely helping out. Um, we're going to have to put a pneumatic door here, I think. And we're going to keep Trivaldo from going outside, at least until he's back up to 100%, I think. We should be able to get everything done without him, but, uh, you know, we can make him do other things. Let's see, what other options do we have for research? Could go ahead and get our smeltery running. Yeah, let's, let's start towards it, at least. Vitals are still doing awesome. Actually have Joshua with 21. Yeah, Travaldo's automatically dipping to nine. It's interesting. Wow. Just not feeling it. You didn't eat, that's why. Loser. You gotta eat, guys. And on that note, we will call it an episode. We didn't quite get our auction up and running. Always seems to be the sticking point for some reason. Um, but we'll do that. We'll get our cooling loop and stated, and we'll probably pump in through here or something just to keep it close. Um, and then after that, we'll probably get in our suits just because, oh, you, okay, all right, I'm sorry, that was my fault. But thank you again for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe below to see more of the exciting <laughs> whatever this is I do love oxygen not included it's it's definitely charming it's it's got kind of a style all its own <laughs> like little termites but thank you again for watching I'll see you guys next time bye bye